everybody what's going on. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, if you're so inclined to sit through the entirety of it, you can watch me make the metal belt buckle for my 2018 Dragon Con Woody and Jesse costume. Jesse wears one too. This one's Woody's. Well, this one's Woody's actually. The one I've got in my hand is Jesse's. Um, the holster and belt are also finished, and there'll be a video up on those a little later on, maybe as late as next week, depending on when I get it finished. So I used pictures from the dolls that we purchased and pictures from the internet to hand draw the belt buckle or roughly what I wanted to look wanted it to look like and then just basically cut out the inserts each one of those little inserts pieces is going to be a separate little piece of 16 gauge steel uh, transferred the oval to a piece of cardstock and drew four ovals, two for the faces of the belt buckle and two for the backing plates that the hook that goes through the belt hole and the belt loop that hold the belt and buckle together will both attach to. Uh, once I got those done, I basically just cut out all the pieces on the bandsaw and then ground them and sanded them until they looked reasonably uh, in line with what I was hoping for. So this little Harbor Freight bandsaw that I picked up for $10 at a yard sale is a little too small to be cutting this wide stuff, so I had to do some really fruity things to actually get through this. Not safe, don't recommend it. So in the next couple of clips, I show you how to destroy a perfectly good pair of tin snips by cutting through 16 gauge steel with snips. Again, not recommended. They, they did it, but it was pretty tough and probably harder on the snips than I really needed to be.
And once I had it all together and everything welded in place and the rivets all set, I give it a good cleaning with a wire brush and then my favorite part because who doesn't like to play with fire? So take an oxyacetylene torch and heat everything up until it gets hot enough to burn your epidermal layer beyond recognition should you accidentally put your tongue on it. And then once you get it nice and heated up, you take a brass wire wheel and wire wheel all over the nice hot buckle and that basically transfers the brass over and gives it the nice brass look that Jesse and Woody have on their belt buckles.